my god, my job. In a. Made a bath. I don't look like shit one day, but no tea, no shade, I just didn't like it. There's a few people there that are like kind of fake and grumpy and miserable. Get my name. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique. Good morning, everyone. How are we? I hope you're all doing well. I hope we are all thriving. First of all, I do just want to disclaim again that this week I've always just been like kind of an off week, and that's why I've been filming things throughout the week. So if you see my t-shirt change, or I don't look like shit one day, but I look like shit the rest of them, that's why. Um, I got a new job. Yeah, and I explain that later on in the video, and it's really like juicy and funny for us. And I also talk about my old job and why I wasn't liking it. So yeah, I will have the timestamp up on the screen if you want to go and watch that. And number two today, I'm going to work at my old job. This is my last week this week. If you enjoyed the video, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I'm literally posting every day. Hi guys, so I've just made a bath and I used a sleepy bubble bar and the Twilight Bath Balm and this is what my bath currently looks like. It's back and forth like Gemini. I can't seem to hit you very pink and purple and that's the bath bomb she's spinning for look at her spinning for a real one and it's such a pretty color and after i've got out of the bath i will be showing you my little skincare routine i've managed to get down to like three four steps so if you want to see that then keep on watching and yeah Number one being, I got a new job. <laughs> Which is probably the title of this video. What was that? And I'm really, really excited. So let me explain how I got my job in a law firm. Because I know you're also very shocked. Into the end. <laughs> What the fuck is going on in this neighborhood? We don't get down like that. Because I'm also very sharp. My new job is one big firm, and underneath that one big firm's company are six different firms under one company. There's law and lawyers under one, and then there's property law and home and house law and stuff. So between the one big company out of the six, there are three of each, I believe. I could be wrong. So my job there is to obviously help people transition with their house going smoothly. I'm the person between the real estate people call me and then I check up on the people who are buying the home to see how it's going or selling the home. Like I'm the middle person that you'll call. And if you're confused on how I got that job, because I am also still kind of shocked too. One, I have no idea, but two, when I told you I got my like previous job, and it was like my dream job, like yeah, that was a little bit clickbaity because it wasn't really my dream job. This and YouTube and social media and stuff is obviously you guys know I would love to make that my job one day, but until I'm able to do that, I do have to work a traditional job <laughs> to help fund and get new equipment and cameras and SD cards and but no tea no shade, I just didn't like it. I went from styling like luxury people to styling the everyday sort of consumer like you and me. And what I noticed is that even though I could explore my creativity in the everyday customer with the luxury side, I found I connected with it more and I felt as in I could do a better job in selling it to my clientele that I had, which obviously led me to them returning and constantly coming back and stuff and we have like a great connection. And with my current job, I felt as I could still be creative, but I felt that like there was a limit because I was only selling. Oh, 
obviously, the, you know, there's a few people there that are like kind of fake and grumpy and miserable and like I didn't feel like I was bonding with and I tried so, 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 so hard to get along with them and, you know, even just to be civil with them, I was putting out so much energy and the energy coming back to me wasn't reciprocated and that's just something that I don't want to be around. I don't want to be around the negativity, the vibes that were off and I knew as soon as I got the job and as soon after my second shift, I knew that I wasn't supposed to be there. But obviously, I stuck it out for a month because I was like, you know what, maybe it's just because I'm new, maybe it's because I'm just not used to the surrounding, but after like a week I was used to the surrounding and I just didn't like it, you know, no tea, no shade. And obviously I'm very, very, very aware that in life you're going to work with people that you don't like and you just get on with it, but it comes to the point where if I feel like my creativity and me like laughing and being myself and friendly, it, which is not allowed in a workplace, what's the point of me being there? I'm going to toot my own horn here, fucking toot, toot, bitch. No tea, no shade. I sell quite a lot in every job I've been in. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, what did I just say? I suffer from short-term memory loss. Moral of the story is, I don't like my job that I'm currently in. That's why I got a new one. It somehow ended up being in a law firm. I'm very shocked too. <laughs> and hopefully one day I can make this my dream job and you guys. And yeah. And I feel like I don't say that I appreciate you enough. I do appreciate you so, so much. Like, you've given me my happiness and my creativity back, which I lost from when I stopped dancing and for that I am very very grateful. I don't know, I just, I appreciate you guys a lot and I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. I had a dream I could find my way to heaven. When I woke I spit that on a neck 